It was the pre-show match at Extreme Rules. It was Neville going one-on-one -on -one with Bad News Barrett. Now, as we all know, going into this match, Daniel Bryan was supposed to face Bad News Barrett, but came down with an injury, and he was not able to compete against Doctor's Orders. So, ladies and gentlemen, Neville was the replacement, and what a match it was. From pillar to post, from bell to bell, from the beginning to the end, this match, and it was only the pre-show match, left you on the edge of your seat in anticipation and set the pace, in my opinion, for the rest of the night. Bad News Barrett hit his finishing maneuvers. He hit his best moves, but Neville was able to find a way to come out. Neville was able to find a way to get the victory in a match that I would say was solid. I'd say from top to bottom, it was a match that probably should have been on the main card, but for whatever reason, the WWE wanted to put it on the pre-show, but it definitely got the crowd ready. The, the, it's a red hot... Um, Tonight, Chicago, you know, the fans are already chanting CM Punk. You can feel the aura in the ear. And hopefully, uh, Extreme Rules is going to uh, extremely uh, exceed anybody's expectations going in. Now, Bad News Barrett's going to automatically lose momentum because he lost this match to the up-and-comer. What does this mean for Bad News Barrett? What does this mean for his future? But what does it mean for the perennial? What does it mean for the youngster? Will this mean championship opportunity? Will this mean an intercontinental championship match? Can you imagine what's going to happen with Neville's career? He was supposed to have a damn Mighty Mouse gimmick, and now all of a sudden here he is in the pre-show of Extreme Rules beating Bad News Barrett. So, ladies and gentlemen, I give this match, I got to give it a good four out of five stars. It was, you know, high-flying, it was intense, it was, uh, you know, quick pace, it was, it, it was physical. Uh, Bad News Barrett, had he hit the winds of change, he did hit it, but it wasn't enough. He went for the bull hammer. Had he hit the bull hammer, that probably would have got the job done. But tonight... Uh, Neville was one step quicker and he was one step closer to victory as he prevailed tonight at Extreme Rules. Sean's View Entertainment will have full coverage of Extreme Rules tonight following every single match, giving my commentary, my reviews, giving my full analysis. And of course, at the end of the event, Sean's View Entertainment will be giving his Extreme Rules 2015 review right on the WWE Network. So a good match, a great match between Neville and Bad News Barrett. And I hope that this, in, this isn't the last that we have seen of these two highly anticipated uh, you know, competitors in the WWE. Make sure to share this video and like this video. Remember, like my official Facebook page. That's Sean's View Ent on YouTube, right on Facebook. Subscribe. Full coverage of Extreme Rules all night long in the review. Keep it locked on to Sean's View. Later.